to our channel. I'm Tabitha with Cimarron Homestead and today we will be mixing some rabbit feed and then we're planning to weigh the babies to see where they're at for their weights for butcher day. We are going to mix our rabbit feed for you guys today so you can see what we give our rabbits and then at the very end I'm hoping to weigh the babies for you because butcher date is coming and I'm really curious what their weight will be. So I'm not sure where we're at. I have not weighed them in a while. They're about 16 weeks old right now and that's a little bit longer than you typically would butcher rabbits, but they seem so small. So I gave them a little bit more time to grow out. But now the day is here and I want to see what their weights are so I kind of can anticipate if we're in the ballpark range of where we should be, but we'll find um, out. We put two things in our rabbit feed um, and this is fed to them in addition to hay. We do dehydrated alpha pellet. It's crude protein is 17%, crude fat is 1.5% and crude fiber is not more than 27.5% for the alfalfa pellets. And we just get these at our local feed store by the 50 pound bag. And then the other thing that we add is crimped oats and uh, the crude protein is 11%, crude fat is four and fiber is 12%. So um, the way we've been doing it is during the summer, we did not give them oats because I was taught that oats will elevate their body temperature um, because when they're digesting them. Rabbits thrive in the cold weather. And so in the heat of the summer, I don't want to give them anything that would make them more miserable. So we just did hay and alfalfa pellets in the summer with the occasional treat, you know, of a vegetable or, or whatever. Well, I say occasionally, we, we pretty frequently give them celery or every once in a while a, kiss, a piece of a carrot or something like that. But, um, but as far as oats go, it's a winter thing. I was told that it helps their coat. It helps add a little bit of body fat you know, to help them get through the winter. You don't want them to be overweight, but you don't want them to be cold either. They, and they really love the oats. As a matter of fact, I have an issue with them getting in their feeders. I've tried putting them up high putting them in different types of containers and they will dig the oats out. I have a couple that are really bad about it compared to some of the others, but they love the oats and they look for them. But it looks like in my trash can, I'm gonna be able to fit two bags of alpha, alpha pellets with a 50 pound bag of crimped oats. <music>
result ended up being two bags of alfalfa pellets and one bag of crimped oats. All right guys, so I am back. I've got the feed mixed. I've got the bunnies fed and watered and hayed and I am um, getting ready to weigh the babies. Okay. All right, so there's my scale. I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna do pounds and ounces. And then I have a couple different size bowls to put the bunny in so that uh, they stay in place while I weigh them. And I'm gonna put my bowl on there. I'll start with a bigger one and see how it works. Okay, so here we go. Um, we have our bowl and, oh, I'm gonna tear it again. I moved it and it must have. Okay, so now we're zeroed out. I'm gonna go get our first bunny. Okay, so this is our first baby bun. And this one does not like me, so if he tries to bite, that's why. Oh, I gotta take you out, because it shut off. I forgot, it doesn't stay on very long. Hi, sweet boy. Hi. Okay, it's still zeroed out. So let's get in the bucket. Get in the bucket. Okay, so we are at, whoa, buddy. Three pounds. Three pounds, 9.6 ounces. Okay, all right. So that is bunny number one. I'm gonna go get the next guy. So this is our sweet girl that we're keeping from this litter. But I'm gonna go, go ahead and get her weight too. She's on the smaller side. Oh, come here. I have to take you out. It shut off again. Okay, it's all right, sweet girl. You're all right. Okay, we're ready. Okay, here we go. Let's see how big you are. Yes, yeah, see, she's much smaller. She's two pounds, 14.8 ounces two pounds, 14.8 ounces. But her, her mama is also on the smaller side. So. This is our second boy. We're gonna turn it back on because I know that took me a while. Okay, let's see how big you are. All right, we are at three pounds, 12 ounces. Three pounds, 12 ounces. Okay, this is the sweet one and he's a little scared. Oh, okay, okay, let's make sure that's on. Okay, all right, boy. And this is the male that I'm planning to keep. Oh, how big? Three pounds, 13.2 ounces. The girl was a little bit on the low end. Her mom is really small. Typically, when full grown, the, the females are bigger than the males. Not always, because like I said, um, Zoe is their mom and she is uh, smaller than average rabbit. She's a New Zealand. But the reason I kept her, even though she, despite her size, the reason I kept her is because she is a phenomenal mom. She first litter knew exactly what to do. She took very good care of her babies. Um, we never had any health issues with her babies. And I've had a lot of struggles with my female rabbits, so I was very optimistic about her. It doesn't matter what size they are if they don't survive birth, you know what I mean? Because that's been the issue we've had with some of our other females that we've had is that they have no mothering instinct and they don't build a nest or they don't take care of their babies. Or we had one female that, I kid you not, she ate every baby that we tried to get her to to um, Kindle and she literally ate them and we couldn't ever figure out why. Um, so yeah, we've had really rough luck with baby rabbits and mama rabbits, but no bad luck with boys. We have plenty of those. Yeah. So, but that, that's why we, we keep a smaller rabbit. And even though she's smaller, my hope is that she'll have that mother mothering instinct because I'm hoping Zoe passed it to her. You never know with rabbits. Yeah, I feel like I'm but rambling right the now. The last video that we posted was us building our chicken feeder out of a 32 gallon trash can. And I did not share the final result with you guys, but I am planning to do 
a video on the setup of the chicken feed. We'll talk about our mixture for our chickens on the next video when we set up our new feeder. Mm -hmm.